Each side of a square is increased 4 inches. When this happens, the area is multiplied by 4. How many inches in the side of the original square? So we have a square, all sides are the same. And let's say that the sides are all x. And we add 4 inches to them. So whatever it was, we're making it 4 more inches than that. So the original area uh, would be s squared. Um, or, well, in this case, x squared. Might as well stick with the same variable. Um, and the, the original area was x squared, and the new area is going to be x plus 4 squared. But it says that when we increase each one by 4, the, the area got multiplied um, by 4. So the, the original area would now be 4x squared. Um, well, the original area doesn't change, but after we added 4, the, the area was 4x squared. So that gives us 4x squared equal to x plus, the areas have to be the same, right? Um, equal to x plus 4 squared. And if we multiply out x plus 4 squared, we get x squared plus 8x plus 16. And we want everybody to be uh, on the same side, or one side equal to 0. Um, so I'm going to subtract and get 3x squared minus 8x minus 16 equals 0. Okay, so I need a little bit more space here. And um, we're going to go ahead and factor this, and you can pick whatever factoring method you like. I like to multiply A and C together, which is negative 48, and see what fat pair um, will add up to negative 8. So um, start, you know, start low, 2 and 24, 3 and 16. And just work your way up. 4 and uh, 12. Oh, that's going to be our that's going to be our pair, right? Because I can do 4 minus 12 will give me negative 8. So rewriting it, I get 3x squared plus 4x minus 12x minus 16 equals 0. And then I can factor by grouping. So taking an x out, I get 3x plus 4. And over here I can take out a negative 4 and get um, 3x plus 4. And since the insides match, we're on the right track, so we can factor those out, the 3x plus 4s, and we're left with x minus 4. And if you set each one of those equal to 0 and solve, I get 3x plus 4 equals 0. So subtracting 4, it's 3x equals negative 4. And then dividing by 3, I get negative 4 thirds. And then x minus 4 equals 0. Solving for that, I get x equals 4. All right, so we get two answers here. Um, but really, only one is going to make sense. We can't have a negative dimension. So we're going to um, cross out the negative 4 thirds.